This is a test. This is a test. What do you know about language arts, math, science, and social studies? Find out while playing along with Knowledge for College, where teams from competing UISD schools spin the wheel of knowledge and answer questions from a world of subject categories. It's a mind challenge for students and a chance to win for their school. But most of all, it's a really fun way to learn. Now, let's play Knowledge for College. Hi and welcome. You're watching Knowledge for College, a game of knowledge and learning featuring some of our best and brightest students here at United ISD. And of course, today we have students from Bettis Elementary and from Roosevelt Elementary here with us today. And my special guest host today is Miss uh, Allison Kim, uh, the current uh, Miss Laredo, Texas. Allison, uh, thank you for joining us You're and welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. And if you could just uh, tell us uh, a little bit about your reign as Miss Laredo. How's it been for you so far? Sure. So it's been a little crazy, a lot of running around the city, um, a lot of things to do. It's so far eight months into my reign. Um, I have about a couple more months to go. Uh, the next Miss Laredo will be crowned in June. So it's been very exciting and I've been visiting a lot of schools talking to kids just like these, so um, it's been a very grateful experience. And I understand you graduated from United, is that right? Yes, um, I went to United Magnet School for a couple years, then I got out of Magnet, moved to California. Um, excuse me, I graduated with my degree in marketing from the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising, and now I'm doing my business degree as well in California. All right, very good. Well, thank you, and well, uh, thank you for joining us. Thank and uh, let's turn our attention now to our students. Uh, Representing Perez Elementary, we have Jose and Alexa. And Jose, if you can, just tell us a little bit about yourself, please. Um, I like playing video games a lot. And sometimes after school, I would read a chapter book. And what kind of video games? Or what's your favorite video game? Do you have a favorite? No, not really. Okay, very good. <laughs> and Alexa, what about you? What can you tell us about yourself? My name is Alexa Garcia, and after school I like going to the park and play soccer. All right, excellent, very good. And representing Roosevelt Elementary, we have Andrea and Andrew. And uh, Andrea, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, please? Um, in school, my favorite subject is math and reading. I like to listen to music, and I like to sing. All right, excellent. And Andrew, what about you? Um, in school, my favorite subject is math, and whenever I get home, I would always like play with my, with my dad video games, even since I hardly ever see him. So. <laughs> okay, very good. Well, guys, before we begin play, let me just go over the rules very briefly. Uh, each team is going to take turns spinning that uh, big wheel that you see behind you. And, of course, the wheel has uh, questions in language arts, social studies, math, and science. And those questions are worth five points if you can answer them correctly. The category in red, the wild turn category, uh, those, those questions can come from any subject area. And of course, they're worth 10 points because they're designed to be a little, more, a little bit more difficult and challenging. And of course, you'll have a one minute time limit for all the questions. Once you hear that little bell, that means you're out of time and you have to uh, give us your answer. Now, in order to earn the points, you have to answer correctly. Otherwise, your, the other team will get a chance to answer that question and possibly uh, earn the points. So we held a little coin toss earlier today, and uh, Roosevelt, you, you guys won the coin toss, so you guys get to go first. So Andrew or Andrea, will one of you just spin that wheel for us, please? And we ask that it goes around at least once in order for it to be a valid spin. And this time we're going to wind up with a turn. wild turn question. All right, let's start with the wild turn. Here you go. All righty. I'll give them the copies of the... Uh, question and just to let our students know this one's coming from the math subject area that'll be your copy and this is going to be your copy all right so the question is alberto paid 73 dollars and 49 cents at a restaurant for a family dinner he also gave the waiter a 10 dollar tip if alberto paid with a 100 dollar bill how much change did he receive a, $16.51, B, $17.51, C, $18.11, or D, $18.39. And your one minute begins right now, guys, and you have up to, up to a minute to answer the question. And of course, we suggest or we recommend that you uh, discuss this with your partner just to make sure you're on the same page. 
And uh, once you have your uh, answer, you can go ahead and give it to us. And of course, remember, you have to answer correctly in order to earn the points. And this is a wild turn question for our students from Roosevelt Elementary. It's, uh, it's from the math subject area. If they answer correctly, they'll get 10 points. Otherwise, our students from Bettis Elementary will get an opportunity to answer that question and possibly earn the points. And as we wait for our students to come up with an answer, uh, Allison, what, have, uh, what are your thoughts about our show so far? I think it's great that Laredo actually has something like this. Um, it's been recently that I moved back for my reign as Miss Laredo, and when I was in school, this didn't really exist, so All right. it's pretty cool. Uh, time's up, Roosevelt. Do you have an answer for us? Yes. And what's your answer, please? Letter A. Perfect. Yay. All right. That is correct. Letter A is the right answer, so you get the 10 points. And Fedes Elementary, it's your turn at the wheel, so Jose or Alexa, will uh, one of you spin that wheel for us, please? Give us a good spin. And, of course, this one goes around more than once, but uh, eventually it'll come to rest, and we don't know yet where it's going to land, but it will stop eventually. And it looks like we may, well, no. <laughs> oh, no, mate, well, no. We're going to have a math oh, question. So. Another math. This will be a math question. All right. This time for our students Here from Pettis Elementary. And this will be worth five points to our students if they can answer correctly. And the question is, what is the sum of half and two-thirds? A, three-fifths, B, six-sevenths, C, one and one-sixth, or D, one and seven-sixths? And just to uh, repeat, this is a math question for our students from Pettis Elementary, they can uh, earn five points by answering correctly. Otherwise, our students from uh, Roosevelt will get a chance to answer that question and possibly earn those points. So I guess the question bears repeating, if you don't mind, Allison. Sure. So the question again comes as, what is the sum of half and two-thirds? Um, we have an answer. Go ahead, Okay. Please. It's letter C. Perfect. That is correct. Congratulations. Right. Very good. One and one sixth. Very good, guys. So, Bettis Elementary, you earned the five points. Roosevelt Elementary, your turn at the wheel. So, Andrew, go ahead and give us a good spin, please. And Andrew's spin will come to a stop eventually, landing in the social, social studies, studies subject area. So, that'll be this one, that corner right there. And again, this will be worth five points for our students if they can answer correctly. All right, so the question comes as, a large body of ice moving slowly down a slope or valley spreading outward on a land or surface. A, Asia, B, Bering Strait, C, Igloo, D, Glacier. D. Perfect. All right. That is correct. The correct answer is Glacier. Good job, guys. And Pettis Elementary, your turn at the wheel once again. So, Alexa or Jose, go ahead and spin that wheel for us, please. And uh, Jose's spin will be going round and round, and it will come to rest eventually. And this time, we're going to land in the... Well, we'll have to wait for it, but... Ooh... Language or no 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 wild, wild turn. turn wild okay. turn okay right. wild turn that's right all right and let me see this is coming from the reading subject area that's your call all right in a poem by Eugene Field what did Winkin Blinken and Nod sail off in a a wooden shoe b a golden raft c a sailboat D, a magical house. And this is a wild turn question from the reading subject area. It's for our students from Bettis Elementary. And if they answer correctly, they can earn 10 points. Otherwise, our students from Roosevelt Elementary will get a chance to answer that question and possibly earn the points. So let's see. And whenever you're ready, students, just go ahead and give us your answer. And just take all the time you need, so there's no rush. Yeah, okay. You ready? Yeah. What's your answer, please? D. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, Roosevelt Elementary, you have a chance to earn 10 points here. Do you have an answer for us, please? B. What was that? 
B. I'm sorry, that's also, also incorrect. incorrect. Uh, Allison, do you mind sharing the, the correct answer with our students? Sure, this, so the correct answer is A, a wooden shoe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you that knew like it, didn't you? <laughs> some, yeah. Well, no points on this round, but uh, good try, everybody. And uh, Roosevelt Elementary, it's your turn once again at the wheel, so go ahead and spin that wheel for us. And we're going to ask you to spin again because we want the wheel to go around at least once. And there we go. And this time we land in the map subject area. All right. And our students from Roosevelt Elementary have a chance to earn uh, five points by answering correctly. Otherwise, our students from Bettis Elementary will get the points. All right. Which number is equivalent to the expression shown below? 6 times 10 plus 4 times 1 plus 5 times 0 0.01 plus 9 times 0 0.001. Is it A, 6.459, B, 64.59, C, 64.059, or D, 64.359? Yes, you're correct. All right. That's very quick. Good job, Roosevelt Elementary. You earned the five points. Bettis Elementary, it's your turn once again. So, Jose or Alexa, spin that wheel for us, please. And this time, the wheel will eventually come to rest. That's a good spin. Yes, it is. <laughs> and uh, let's see. We have to wait for it. Wait for it. And it looks like... Maybe. Wild turn. It wild is. turn. All right. Seems to be the hot ticket of the night. And this one's coming from the math subject area once again. All right. So the question is the perimeter of a rectangle is 36 inches. The width of the rectangle is 8 inches. What is the area of this rectangle? Area equals 1xw. Perimeter equals 21 plus 2w, or 2 in parentheses 1 plus w. Is it A, 40 square inches, B, 5 square inches, C, 288 square inches, or D, 10 square inches? And this is a wild turn question for our students from Pettis Elementary. It comes from the math subject area, and our students can earn 10 points by answering it correctly. Otherwise, our students from uh, Roosevelt Elementary will have a chance to answer the question and possibly earn the points. And of course, our students are working very diligently trying to figure out the, uh, the question, trying to figure out the correct answer. And they're looking for the area of the rectangle. And so, Allison, having, having gone to the uh, engineering magnet, I guess, uh, were you pretty good at math in your day? Uh, I wouldn't say that great. I mean, it's not my main interest, but I think it was pretty good. All right. I held on. Very good. <laughs> That's good. And, of course, our students are holding on and trying to work the problem. And, of you course, an you have an answer. What's your answer, please? A. Yes, you are correct. All right. <laughs> Good job, Pettis Elementary. Good job. You earned the 10 points. It's time now for a quick break, so let's go ahead and take one and we'll be right back. One, two, three, team. UISD students, it's time to rally, dig in, score big, and win a new car just by going to school. The Sames Kia in the Classroom program is back. All United ISD high school students are eligible to win a new 2016 Kia Soul. Have perfect attendance during an 89 week period and your name will be entered into the UISD Grand Prize Drawing to win a new car. Spike your chances, attend class, and win a new Kia Soul. United ISD urges parents who have children with severe allergies to please inform district nursing staff about your child's condition. Allergic reactions can be life threatening. We have procedures in place to help students at risk for severe allergic reactions or anaphylaxis. Notifying staff about student allergies makes it easier for them to respond quickly to an emergency. Please report severe allergies and help ensure UISD students remain safe and healthy. 
United ISD now has a virtual crime watch program that makes it easy to report a crime anonymously. Just download the free UWatch app from the iTunes Store. This app allows citizens to report a crime or send a tip anonymously. You can even attach video, photos, audio, or any other information to your tip. Help keep our schools and community safe. With UWatch, the power to report and prevent a crime can now be found in the palm of your hand. It's a double bonus. Go to school and win a new car. The same Kia in the Classroom program is back. All United ISD high school students are eligible to win a new car. Have perfect attendance during any nine-week period, and your name will be entered into the UISD grand prize drawing to win a new 2016 Kia Soul. It's a slam dunk. This fast break could have you driving to school in style, and you won't even have to drop a dime. Hi and welcome back. You're watching Knowledge for College, a game of knowledge and learning featuring some of our best and brightest students here at United ISD. And of course today we have students uh, from Pettis Elementary and from Roosevelt Elementary. And my guest host is uh, Miss uh, Allison Kim, Miss the current Miss Laredo, Texas. And uh, Allison, you have a question for our students, I believe. Yes, I do. So are you guys excited to be here? How would you say were you guys chosen to be here? Did your school just send you? No, yeah. I'm, they kind of sent me because I'm mostly in everything. Oh, I see. How so? Is it because you're the smartest kid on the block? <laughs> oh, I don't want to say that. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So um, do you guys know of each other's schools, would you say? Oh, no. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So. Um, if I were to ask you what you wanted to be when you grow up, what would you guys each answer, starting with you? Mm. Not sure yet. Well, you said you like to play video games, right? So maybe something that has a lot of, like, thought, I guess, something like soccer where you have to plan out. Okay, <laughs> okay how about you? Um, I haven't really decided, but I want to be a lawyer or a teacher. Wow, that's amazing. And how about you? I would like to be a criminal lawyer or an immigration lawyer. Wow, OK, that's very intense. You can do it. How about you? I want to be a chemical en engineer and coder. Wow, it's great dreams these kids have. Yes. Well, let's go ahead and uh, resume our game, guys. And uh, Roosevelt, it's your turn at the wheel. So Andrew, give us a good spin, please. And Andrew's spin is going to land in the... Science. Science subject All area. Right. That's right. And once again, students, this is worth five points if you can answer correctly. Okay, so the question goes as, which of the following best explains the energy created from a geyser? Is It is hydroelectric energy created by water power, A. Or B, it is biofuel formed from biological raw materials. Or C, it is geothermal energy powered from heat with earth. Or D, it is energy from the sun. And our students from Roosevelt Elementary are trying to solve a science problem. It's worth five points if they C. can get it correct. What was your answer? What was your C. answer? C, you are correct. All right. Very good. The answer good was the geothermal energy powered from heat with earth. Very good, guys. Bettis Elementary, your turn once again. So, Alexa, give us a good spin, please. And Alexa's spin will come to rest eventually. And this time, we are going to have a language arts, arts. question. Okay. All yep. right. The language arts question for our students from Pettis Elementary. So the question is, who is the author of the book Where the Wild Things Are? A. Paul Jennings, B. A. A. Milne, C. Maurice Sendak, or D. Claudia Mills? And again, this is a language or a reading question actually from for our students from Pettis Elementary. And then I guess the and do you have an answer for us? Yes, B. I'm sorry, that's uh, incorrect. Uh, 
Roosevelt Elementary, do you have an answer for us? B. I'm sorry, that's also so incorrect. incorrect. Allison, can you share the correct answer with our students? It is C, Maurice Sendak. Author of the Where the Wild Things Are. All right, well, good try, everyone, but no points on this round. So, uh, Roosevelt Elementary, it's your turn once again. So, Andrew or Andrea, will you uh, spin that wheel for us, please? And Andrea's spin lands in Another the language. Arts. Okay. arts subject area once again. And this time it's for our students from Roosevelt Elementary. Okay, so which word is a synonym for walk? A, stroll, B, sprint, C, gallop, or D, canter? Correct. All right. So good job, Roosevelt. You earned the five points. And Betis Elementary, your turn once again. So go ahead and give us a good spin there. And as the wheel goes round and round, it will come to rest eventually. And we'll have to wait and see where it stops. And it looks like it might. Uh, no, not quite. And science. Science. So we have a science question for our students from Pettis Elementary. Worth five points if they can answer correctly. Okay, so Chad wanted to remove candle wax from a glass jar. He carefully heated the jar and the hot wax poured out of the jar. What happened to the wax so that it could pour out of the jar? A, it changed from gas to a liquid. B, it changed from a solid to a liquid. C, it changed from a solid to a gas, or D, it changed from a liquid to a solid. Letter B. You are correct. All right. Letter B is the correct answer. It changed from a solid to a liquid. Good job, Bettis Elementary. Roosevelt, it's your turn once again. So uh, spin that wheel for us, please. And this time the spin will land in the language. No, social oh, studies. social studies. Social studies this time. This is the first one, right? I social believe studies? so, yes. Okay. So the question goes as, an important religious movement that began in the 1730s is known as the A, New Religion, B, Great Awakening, C, Bill of Rights, or D, Self-Rule? And the social studies question is for our students from Roosevelt, and do you have an answer for us? Bill of Rights. I'm See. sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, Pettis Elementary, do you have an answer for us? A. I'm sorry, that's also incorrect. Allison, could you uh, share the correct answer with our students? So it is B, Great Awakening. <laughs> so we were looking for B, Great Awakening. You'll know so for next time, right? <laughs> that's right. So, um, so Pettis Elementary, I believe it's your turn, and you can go ahead and take your turn at the wheel. After a very vigorous spin, we're going to, the wheel will come to rest eventually. And this time, let's see where it lands. Maybe, no, not quite. Well, maybe. Language arts. Art. Missed it by just a little bit. All right. All right. So your copy and your copy. So which word has a prefix that means before? A, express, B, preview, C, recognition, D, misconception. Letter B. Correct. Very good. Nice Very job. good, guys. So Pettis Elementary, you're in the points. Roosevelt, it's your turn at the wheel, so give us a good spin, please. And this time our spin lands in the math subject area. All right. That's your copy. Okay, so which value is less than 0 0.7? A, 7 hundredths, B, 7, C, 7 thousandths, or D, 7 hundredths? And this is a math question for our students. Go ahead. A. You got it. All right. Yeah. Very good, uh, Beth Roosevelt Elementary. Bettis Elementary, it's your turn once again, so go ahead and uh, give us a good spin on that wheel. And 
Eventually, it will stop, I assure you. <laughs> and let's... Ooh! Wild, wild turn. turn! Okay. And let me see, this is from the language arts subject area. It's be worth 10 points if you can answer correctly. All right, so what is the best way to combine the following two sentences? He grew up, period. He loved to read about records and decided to try to set one, period. A, he grew up because he loved to read about records and decided to try to set one. Or B, he grew up, loved to read about records, decided to try and set one. C, growing up, he loved to read about records and decided to try to set one. Or D, he grew up loving and reading about records, deciding to try to set one. D. I'm sorry, that's not the answer we were looking for. So, Roosevelt, you have a chance to earn 10 points here. Do you have an answer for us? B. I'm sorry, that's also incorrect. Uh, it's Allison, C. You got it. Yeah. It's your backup. All right. <laughs> so, we were looking for growing up, he loved to read about records and decided to try to set one, but... Unfortunately, no points on this round, but good try, everyone, and let's take a, it's time for a quick break now, so let's go ahead and take one. School safety is our number one priority. Always report bullying to an adult, attend class every day, and please say no to drugs and alcohol. Be sure to report any criminal or suspicious activity to campus police. Remember, texting and cell phone use is forbidden when driving in school zones. Always watch out for kids at crosswalks and when loading on and off school buses. Keep our kids safe. Welcome, you're watching Knowledge for College, a game of knowledge and learning featuring some of our best and brightest students here at United ISD. And of course, I'd like to thank my special guest host today, Miss Allison Kim, the current Miss Laredo. And uh, Allison, can you uh, kind of tell us uh, what are your thoughts of our show? I think this show is absolutely amazing. It's actually shocking to me that I didn't know this existed before. So thank you so much for having me on the show. And it's a great way to push kids. And they're so smart. So I think this is amazing. It was a pleasure having you. And of course, we also want to thank our students from uh, Bettis Elementary and from uh, Roosevelt Elementary mm -hmm. for being such good sports and uh, uh, giving us such a good competition today. And of course, we'd like to take a little time to thank some of the uh, sponsors who provide our students with some prizes. Sonic, America's Drive-In, CeCe's Pizza, Chuck E. Cheese's, and McDonald's of Laredo. And with that, let's say goodbye. Bye-bye.